Hello everyone, today I'll be giving you an introduction to a motor driver breakout board. This breakout board comes with an L293D driver chip to drive the inductive loads such as relays, solenoids, DC and bipolar stepping motors and is also used for high current and high voltage levels in positive supply applications. This L293D is one of the most commonly used driver circuits in hobby circuits. This L293D board is a dual H bridge motor driver integrated circuit which can control two motors. A microcontroller generates a low current signal. This with this breakout board we can generate a high current signal from the low current signal. This high current signal is used to drive the motors. This breakout board is easy to interface with any microcontrollers and is also used for reverse polarity protection and is easy to connect screw terminals. Now I will be giving you the physical description of a motor driver breakout circuit. Here we can see a jumper, 3 pins, a 12 volt supply, a common and a 5 volt. So this is used when we want to supply a 12 volt, we provide a jumper between a 12 volt and a common. And if we want to give a 5 volt, we provide a jumper between a common and the 5 volt. And here you can see the input pins to the motors, a 12 volt, a ground and a 5 volt. And here we have the connection to the motor 1 and the motor 2. If the motor requires a 12 volt supply, here in the jumpers we need to give a common pin that is a jumper between a 12 volt and a common and here we need to supply with a 12 volt. If we are to give a 5 volt motor connected then here we need to give a jumper with a common pin and a 5 volt and here also we need to provide a 5 volt. There is one more thing that I need to say is that when we connect a 12 volt here the problem is we can give just 12 volt for the motors and we need to also connect the 5 volt supply because the IC requires a 5 volt and not a 12 volt. But if you are to supply with a 5 volt supply motor then a 5 volt is just require just enough and 12 volt does not require any input connection. So with the 5 volt we can connect both the motors and the ICs. So on the either side we see two motors, motor 1 and motor this 2. L293D so it contains two inbuilt H bridge driver circuits. In its common mode of operation, two DC motors can be driven simultaneously both in forward and reverse direction. The motor operations of two motors can be controlled by input logic at pin in IN1 and IN2 and IN3 and IN4. Input logic 00 or 11 will stop the corresponding motor. Logic 01 and 10 will rotate in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction respectively. Now we'll see the demonstration for a motor driver, the breakout board. As I explained before, so here we can see a 5 volt DC motor. This is the board, and here we have the Arduino, which will be the external board that we are going to use. So, here we can see here we are using a 5 volt supply. So, we give a 5 volt supply plus a ground. So, this 5 volt supply is given to this motor plus to this IC. So, this 12 volt supply is not used. So we just connect the ground and the 5 volt supply to the corresponding ground and 5 volt supply in this board. And here we can see the input pins, 3 input pins which is given to this motor and the corresponding input pins are available here. So we just connect here and here the enable pin is active high. From here we take the output and we give it to the 5 volt DC motor. So now I will just show you a demonstration and how this works how a 5 volt DC is given to this motor. So I have a battery here. With this battery, once I give the battery to this Arduino, it supplies a 5 volt to this breakout board and from this breakout board it gives to the motor, DC motor. So we'll just see how this works. So I'm just going to give the power supply and here. You can see the fan rotating so the DC motor is working so the 5 volt is supplied from this breakout board to this DC motor 